Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to rock a dark lipstick. Now I'm doing it a little bit differently because I'm going to do my makeup in reverse so you can see how important it is to layer certain products when it comes to wearing a dark lipstick. Now your lipstick doesn't have to be this dark. I chose a very dark lipstick um, for contrast so you could see that um, there are certain steps that you should probably do if you want to rock a dark lipstick. Now, whether you plan on rocking one for Halloween or whether you just in general want to rock a dark red or a dark purple or a black or green, whichever it may be. So I've already put on my foundation and I'm actually going to be doing this tutorial backwards. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is, and oh my gosh, it looks so weird not having my makeup done and just wearing foundation. So the reason for that is because I really want you to see the difference that it makes having the proper layers for the dark lipstick. So, cause a lot of people are just like, I can never wear dark lipstick and it doesn't look right. Um, and there might be a reason for that. So I'm going to work my way backwards. Um, so you can see the difference that just a few things will make in really making the dark lipstick look good. So, um, I've already put on my foundation. I'm going to work backwards. So I'm going to go and put my concealer on, then I'm going to put my lipstick on and then I'm going to finish everything else. So I really think the key to having a dark lipstick is not overdoing it, but not underdoing it either. So, and I picked a pretty dark lipstick today. I picked, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade potion. It's quite dark. Um, just so you can see, I mean, it doesn't even have to be this dark for you. A dark lipstick might be like a red or it could be a berry. It doesn't even have to be like a really dark, you know, whatever. So, um, so that being said, I am wearing the Fenty foundation. I just put it on. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. Then I'm going to put my lipstick on and then you're going to see everything else. So, all right. So now I'm going to put my lipstick on and I'm going to go backwards. So you wouldn't normally have to do this at home. Of course, I'm just showing you for the sake of the tutorial today. So you can see how lipstick looks on a blank face and how it looks with a more done face. Cause it really, that is the difference. And here my bra strap is showing. That's super helpful. Okay, so let's say this is my regular routine, foundation, concealer, and that's it. Um, do you think that the dark lipstick looks good? <laughs> I feel like I look like, um, like I'm from the Adams family. So, which is totally fine for Halloween. And if that's your goal, go for it. But if this is something that you, you know, you really want to try dark lipstick and you just, you know, haven't been able to get there, then keep watching because I'm going to show you how to really keep it simple and how to, um, what's the word? Complement the dark lipstick without it being feeling like it's so much so that you just, you know, it seems like it's too much work. So now I'm going to go, go back to my eyes and I'm going to prep and prime them. So I'm going to be using the um, Makeup by Mario Master Palette um, for the eyes today because I want to keep it pretty neutral. I don't want to focus on too much color just because, again, the lipstick is pretty dark and we I don't want to go in um, and really distract a whole lot from that, I guess you could say or have it be in competition with my eyes and my lips, which is totally fine if you do want to do heavy eyes and heavy lips too. But this is more geared for people who are intimidated possibly by both. And so we're going to go in with Lula, which is a really nice gray neutral shade. I love this palette. I really wish I had bought two of them. I really hope that maybe 
he'll collaborate with Anastasia again at some point because seriously the most functional palette in history basically I'm going to go in with a lid color and I am going to go in with the shade Paris um, which hopefully you can see here which is this one right here it's like a gray bronzy color and I'm going to go in with the darker color called Violetta which is a um, brown and I'm going to go in very lightly with this color because I don't want it to be overly dark. Just going to fill in the edges over here. You can bring that up into the brow bone if you want it to be a little a little darker. I guess you could say the look I'm going for is like a soft smoky eye. Very soft, not overly dramatic. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into that same color that I just used on the outer corners of my lids and I'm going to go into the lower lid, lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is a new one actually, I haven't used this one yet. It's been a long time since I used the Tarte Mascara. But I remember loving it. I need to try their new one. So now this is the difference that brows make because I really feel like my brows look, well, I still look pretty bare, um, especially for somebody who doesn't really have any brows. This is kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, and people don't really realize how big a difference brows make until somebody else fills them in for them. So I suggest that if brows are not part of your current routine, give it a shot because it really does make a big difference. Now I'm going to go in with Gimme Brow just to add a little bit of extra definition since I don't have a whole lot of hair. Anyways, this is a really good idea if you feel like your brows look a little too painted on. Um, this will give it extra dimension and really take away that painted on look you could say. So now I'm going to go in with contouring and I'm going to be using the Tartiest um, Pro Glow palette that I recently purchased. I'm going to go in with the powder shade called Sculpt. Now I'm going to use a blush from the Morphe um, Blushes palette. So I'm actually going to go in with a peach colored one, the lightest peach color looking one. Now this is a really bright peach so the key here is a very light hand. Now I'm going to go in with a highlighter and I'm going to use Lit, which is this one here in the Pro Glow palette. And I am going to layer this on my cheekbones. Now 
Now I'm going to go in with Stunner, which is a lighter color. I'm going to flip my brush over and I'm just going to go on top with the Stunner just because I want a little bit extra of a highlight here. So this is the final look. I'm keeping it pretty simple. Um, just because again, very, I only use three eyeshadows on the eyes. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, I hope that you have found it useful. And again, it really doesn't matter what dark lipstick you're choosing to wear. It just goes to show you that there are steps that you want to have in there in order to really complete the look. Because as you saw earlier, if I just left my foundation on, or even if I just put my brows on and didn't fill out um, the blush or the contouring or anything like that, it probably would just look a little incomplete um, and you would look washed out. So that's the only risk that you run in not completing the steps so I would say a full coverage foundation for sure helps the dark lipstick um, contouring blush um, and just a minimal eye look it could even just be lashes you don't even have to do any eyeshadow if you don't want to but the eyes need to complement the lips um, to, to some extent at some point that it inspires you to try some dark lipstick and that it's not as scary as it sounds um, and I really want to see your look so if you do rock a dark lipstick um, tag me on Instagram or at freckled glam um, I really want to see it and I really hope that I did inspire you um, there definitely are a few steps so don't be discouraged ask me any questions I'm gonna list all the contents that I used in this video down below and if you can please subscribe um, Follow me on Instagram. All the link and in the info is down below, and I will see you next week. Bye.